a little bit different. Plain and simple. If she says she needs a break or she needs space, you never talk to her again. It's done. Plain and simple. Exactly. I like to put I like to put interest for a woman in three categories. One through four is low to no interest. <laughs> Uh, uh, five through seven is medium interest. Eight through ten is genuine burning desire. If a woman has genuine burning desire for you, she never wants to break from you. Hold she on. never hold needs. Yes, yeah, no, nah, for on. real. Let me finish my thought. Right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. She, a woman that has genuine has. burning desire, never needs space from you. She never wants to break up. Mm. Plain and simple, especially when you're a high value man, because women know that um quote unquote high value men are not commonplace. So what women do when they know they have the best deal that they can get, they hold on to it for dear life. Mm -hmm. But when she when she feels as though she, you're not the best deal she can get, what she's really trying to do is she's trying to test the waters, mm -hmm. see if she can get another high value man, and then if it doesn't work out with him, she's gonna come back to your Okay, Sam, you know Sam. Sam. Hey, Sam. Sam. Can, can, I, can, can I, I ask you a question? Can I finish the best my answer he gave right, all right. night. This, for, no, for this, real, the to best. This, to this, she wants to test the waters, mm -hmm. And come back to you because you're simp, beta, and all that type shit. Can I ask you a question, Dono? So, fellas, do the saying, the usual. You guys should know this by now. But if not, we're going to hammer it home right now. When a woman feels like she's losing her freedom or she needs space, she needs a break, anything like that, that basically means that you turned her off. She may have already had a dude before y'all start talking, but if you guys were already in somewhat of a situationship relationship and things like that, you just done enough to basically turn her off and lower her attraction level. As he was saying, you know, just now there's a, a woman can have a low interest. She can have a high interest. She can have a, you know, middle interest, high interest doesn't mean that you can't mess it up and drop it low interest is pretty much this is when the woman is, is ghosting you she's not returning your phone calls she's not all over once you have a woman with high interest or you know that middle interest point if you you mess up and you you know walk away at this point because the strongest negotiating position is being able to walk away and mean it you don't ever want to chase and things like that but once you walk away, you'll be able to get her back. But a lot of times with low interest, she's not going to come back. It, it can happen over time because time basically like solves a lot of a lot of these issues, guys. Time will solve these issues that you guys are having. But you don't want to get in a position where you're chasing her and she's losing her freedom because it's nothing like this is how relationships, marriages, all these things go wrong is because you will chase a woman completely out of your life by thinking that you need to do something. You need to give her attention. And that's when you start simping and not even knowing it. You're thinking, I'm just being a nice guy. And a lot of people be like, Jerry, why do I have to play all these gymnastics? Why do I have to go through all this stuff just to, just to win her over or just to get her attraction? It's something that you got, guys. It's just the way women are wired. And I, I've had so many women... They'll come and say, well, th that's just a dysfunctional woman, so on and so forth. When it comes to attraction, women don't even really know. They think a lot of times that this is what they want, but they end up chasing these guys who don't really give them that attention. And once you're attached, which is the high level of interest, you can you get more leeway in, in things that you can do and how you're able to talk to her and what you can mess up on, even down to cheating, her walking in on you, all types of stuff. If she's got a high level of interest or an attachment at that point. So guys, don't ever feel like you have to do something if she pulls away. Because it's natural and you should expect a woman to pull away from you. When, once those key words, it's key words you'll hear a woman say. Because they women just don't want to hurt your feelings and come out and just say that, you know, I'm I'm good right now or there's another guy. Because her ten, her attention has to go somewhere. And whether that's sexual attention, if she's not getting it from you, it has to go somewhere. And a lot of ladies, I know you're going to disagree, but that's how it is from my experience. If she's not getting that attention that you're trying to give her, it's kind of like she's like, ugh, ugh. And this other guy is like, she's trying to get, trying to get his attention. 
but he's playing everything. He's doing everything right by letting her be her. You must love in such a way that the person you love feels free. That Teak Not Han uh, quote. Guys, if you live that, I mean, you will have a successful relationship, successful love life. You just have to let the pressure off. You know, let the pressure off. Let her do her. Don't try to pressurize her into a situation. Because that's what that's what ends up happening, man. And unfortunately, some guys find out too late. That's when you end up coming to YouTube, doing your little search, trying to figure out where did I go wrong? How did this happen? How can I keep this from happening? And you try to replay all the situations and relationships that you've been in and realize what it is that you actually did wrong. And you're just like, wow, that light goes off. And welcome to the red pill. That red light goes off. Welcome to the red pill. That this is just the nature of it. You can't take advice from a woman if she's telling you this is what this you should be doing this, you should be doing that. Because you'll start thinking that you're not doing enough. Women will say, I want this. I want flowers. I want roses. I want a guy to quote poetry, all these other things. But once she gets it, it's, it's, it's turning her off, guys. She needs space to think about you. She needs space to actually be able to develop her own feelings towards you and how she really feels about you outside of you constantly bombarding her with tension, compliments and things like that. That stuff only works in movies. Fall back, guys. Fall the F back. You're not doing yourself any favors and you're not doing her any favors. Picture all the guys you, you, we we see in the movies where the guys chase the woman down. But think of all the suave, heroic protagonists. They're not chasing the woman down. The woman is always chasing them down. Think of your Denzels, your Idris Elbas, your uh, I'm trying to think of some dudes off the top, but it, leading men in Hollywood. They're not chasing a woman down. She's chasing him. She's trying to be around him. She's trying to be a part of his game plan, his purpose. She's trying to be a part of his greatness. So it's important for you guys to be great. And not trying to jump in and be uh, a co-star in her movie when you should be, you know, the star in your movie. And she's she's a co-star in your movie, not the other way around. The sooner you learn this, guys, the better. Now, this guy in the, in on this clip, he was talking about all the, the beta male stuff and, you know, the simp and all these things like that. And he also addressed some things about hypergamy and things like that. Guys, you just have to learn that the better you are prepared when you enter into a situation or relationship in dating, the better off you're going to be. You know, if you're if you already know kind of like what's going to happen, you can set your watch to it. And that's the beauty of it, guys. So take my word for it, man. Let the pressure off. Don't ever, uh, if a woman says she needs a break, hey, you back off. You back off completely. You know, you back off. Hey, she don't, at this point, she, there's no more rap. She's letting you down easy. Just, just know that she, her attention is going somewhere else. She doesn't want to hurt your feelings. And you go on to the next one, man. Don't have that scarcity mentality, man. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Linktree to book that one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Links are in the description, ladies. If you want some advice from a male's perspective, make sure you hit me up. Fellas, if you need some advice from your Uncle Wisdom, hit me up. Yo, I got this dating show going every Monday and Thursday is what we're trying. If you, like, if you guys like to be a guest, make sure you email me or hit me up on IG. All, all those links are below if you want to be a, a guest for, you know, you're in front of the whole world. You might find somebody special. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to my backup channel. Follow me on IG. I'll follow you back. If you aren't subscribed to this channel already, make sure you guys hit all notifications. That way you're getting notified because I'm hearing some people aren't getting notifications for my channel. Make sure you guys pick up all my books and merch. I'm, I'm, I'm putting out new t-shirts every week. This is one of my newest ones. The Uber YouTuber shirt for all you YouTubers out there. Make sure you pick one up. It supports the channel. And with that being said, guys, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.
it's God's true beat maker. And I don't know. I have to put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth, them 